How's it going boys and girls? My name is Kawi and welcome back to the Carrot Club. In today's video, we're going to build an automatic tree farm. I know chopping tree is frustrating, that's why I built this tutorials for you so you can have as many woods as you like. Before we get started, I just want to let everyone know that I'm doing a giveaways of 1 million coins or you can have a bunch of berry seeds instead. The choice is yours. If you want to win the giveaway, give a like, subscribe and put your name in the comment section. I will pick a winner in every video to increase everybody's chance of winning because I really want to see you guys happy playing this game. So with that, let's get started. Let's get something straight first. There is no such thing as an automatic tree farm because there is no item that will gather trees automatically. What I did was I made it automatic by using a script so that your characters will do all the work for you. To get started on that, you need to download two things from the description below. One is for the auto hotkey software, you need to install this in order to run the script. And the second is the auto tree farm script, which you will be using once you have the farm set up. To start the script, all you have to do is double click on the script file and you'll see this big H symbol here on the lower right hand corner. It means that you're ready to use the script. So once you've got the script and the auto hotkey software installed, let's get down to building the actual farm. You need to build the farm on the edge of your island. It needs to be in a straight line because your character will only move left and right. The total amount of space you need here is 210 blocks wide. So your farm will look something like this and your characters will move from tree to tree, cutting them down and replanting them. Your character will just keep doing this until you make it stop. So to measure how much space you need, plow the grass every 10 blocks. So you can see right here as an example, I got 10 blocks here, 10 blocks here and 10 blocks of space here. You're going to do this for 210 blocks. Next, you'll need to place conveyor belts pointing in one direction. The first block here will be empty, but the following nine blocks will be filled with conveyor belts. You need the conveyor belts to be there because I rely on them to position your character in the right place so that the trees can be cut down. If I didn't have this conveyor belt here in the first place, your character will not be standing on the right spot and the trees will not be cut. Now if you don't have any conveyor belts to build this, remember I'm doing a giveaways of 1 million coins, enter the giveaway and go buy yourself all the conveyor belts you need to make this happen. Or you can just go and watch this video here where I show you how to build an entire berry farm where you will get infinite amounts of berries. You can sell them forever and get yourself a lot of coins. So now that you got the conveyor belts all set up, we need to start planting the trees on the outside edge of the farm. You're going to build three blocks outward like this, starting from this block where the conveyor belts don't exist. If you got what you're seeing here, you did it right. Then you just need to do this anywhere that there is a missing conveyor belt. Once you have completed all that, you should have 21 trees planted. The last step is to build a border around the farm. You only need a border for the bottom side of the conveyor belt and not the top side because the top of the border will get in the way of you cutting down the trees. So just leave the top open. What's important is the bottom and the left and right side because when you move left and right, you need something on the left hand side and on the right hand side something to stop your characters from moving any further. We need to keep the characters in the boundaries of the box so that it will always cut the same tree over and over again. So now that you got the whole farm setup completed, the last thing to do is align your camera so that it is pointing down straight at your head. This will give you a very clear image of where to cut the tree. Make sure that the camera is perfectly horizontal as well, so your character will only move left and right. It cannot be slightly tilted because your character is going to fall off the edge. So make sure that it is perfectly horizontal. And then finally, you need to zoom in on the camera so that there is a gap here. This gap is important so that it'll allow you to cut the tree and plant the tree at the same time. So if your characters cannot do that, you need to adjust the zoom until you can cut the tree and plant the tree at the same time. One more thing that I need to mention is that you need to equip the axe in the first slot of your tool belt and an extra tree sapling in the second slot because your characters will be switching between the two. Once your character cut down the tree, your character is going to switch from an axe to the sapling. Once you have done all of this, you are ready to run the script. So press F1 to start the script and press escape to stop the script. So once you have the script started, make sure that you sit there and you watch how it goes first, just in case you need to make some adjustment. And this is all you need to do for the automatic tree farm. So I hope that you guys find this build easy to follow. If you're confused or you have questions, 
Put them in the comments below or join the Care Club Discord group. The link is in the description. Click on that and you'll be invited and you can ask me any questions you like. If you want more automated script, check out these videos here where I will show you how to get millions of flowers and berries. It uses the same technique in this video so you can set it up quickly without any hassle. So thank you boys and girls for watching and I'll see you in the next video in-game or at the Care Club. Take care everybody.